why I'm leaving food line right now. I had to go in and get some coffee for work. And I got me some Diet Dr. Peppers. I've been uh, cutting back on them, but I'm not going to cut them out completely. I'm just not going to do it. I have a hard enough life without having to try to cut something out. <laughs> not that it, I mean, it's not that hard, but I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, Vern? All right. Today is Friday, and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading like normal, but just been a busy week and not felt good and had to take mama to the doctor yesterday, had to take the cat to the vet yesterday. It's just wild. And, you know, I know that to some people it's probably no big deal, but to me it's a lot. And I just, you know. When I have to do it all by myself, it's just kind of hard. And it's such a, you know, it's just stressful to take her to the doctor because she don't go out anywhere. And yesterday we were, we decided we would take the public transportation. You know, you can call them and have them pick you up just because it's easier with the wheelchair. Well, they were late. And of course, they were late when it was coming. We still ended up being at the doctor's office for two hours. And because it's a new doctor. And of course, when we called them, it was like, well, it's going to be a while, you know, to pick us back up. So we had to wait. And of course, it was hot. Then she ran out of oxygen. So I was stressing out about that. Well, we're going to make it home. And, but we made it home and everything went okay. But, you know, we've just got to, I think we're leaving hospice. It's just not, I mean, I don't like to talk bad about anybody or anything, but they just don't do what they say they're gonna do. And then they get mad and threaten to fire us because she's doing physical therapy, which, I don't know the policy, but I think that's crazy. And I, like I say, I don't understand everything. And, you know, I'll be honest with you. It's been nothing but a heartache since we started with them. And I understand what they're there for, but then they're, we were also told they're not, they're more than end of life. You know, they're there to help you get over the hump in case it's not end of life. Well, I don't think it's end of life for my mom. Now, I think it took her a long time to realize she needed physical therapy. Whereas if she'd done this before, it wouldn't have been a big deal. I mean, it wouldn't have been escalated to this level. But because she couldn't find somebody that she liked, and now she has, it's an entirely different, you know, ball game I guess what I want to say is just the difference is night and day when you have someone that is working with you that you trust and you know you really see that they want to help you walk again whereas the others we felt were just they were just there following a book a manual and this guy seems to he don't, he does his own way based on his patient and that's the way it should be. All right. I don't really have a lot to say. I know my hair is messy and my pineapple bun, but that's all I can stand it right now. I was supposed to get it cut tomorrow, but she, I was going to go back to the Hispanic girl and you know, she works here part of the time in Miami part of the time. And I guess she got a call for something better in Miami. So she went back early. So now I don't have an appointment to get my hair cut. She tried to get me to come Wednesday and I told her I just didn't have time. Because she was leaving Thursday. Anyway, just didn't work out. Maybe it wasn't meant to. I really am thinking about getting my hair cut off. I know that I'll probably regret it, but... 
you know, I look at these people with these short haircuts. And I mean, one that I really, and I mean, I'm not saying that that's what I'm going to do, but there's a new lady that I've been watching, uh, style by Serena or something along those lines. She's in Alabama and I'll link her channel below, but she's just got the cutest haircut. And I mean, you know, maybe it's time for me to get it cut off. Maybe it's time for me to start, stop wearing long hair. You know, I do feel there comes a time that long hair is big. And I'm not saying that short hair is not a lot of trouble because it is. I'll end up having to wash my hair at least every other day, probably every day to start with. But I just need something simple, I guess is what it amounts to. But, you know, I don't know really know what exactly what I want. I may just start slow. And I say that every time and then I let it grow back out because I just don't get to the the hair person you know like I should so I'm going to call the other girl that I went to and see when she's available to cut it and then we'll look at it from there I you know I mean what what I'm looking at is I, I guess is a bob but it's you know it's a little different it's more of a modernized bob. And I guess I almost want to say it's almost helmet hair, but I don't really want to say, I don't really want to call it that. I don't want somebody to say I've got helmet hair. I can't have it angled in the back because Dave will constantly make fun of me. He don't like that. I mean, it's not that I'm going to say he don't like it. He just think it looks like a duck's butt. <laughs> and I don't want to think my hair looking like a duck's butt. And I mean, it's just a, a mind thing that I guess he's got stuck in my head. Although I do like the style, but anyway, I don't know what to do about it. Anybody got any suggestions? I know I got some hairdressers that watch, watch me. And it's not that I just want some, I want something different and I want something easy. I want something that if I do have to wash it every day, that it won't take me but just a few minutes to fix it and then be gone. I just don't want to have to start forcing myself to get up an hour early to do my hair. And I'm just too lazy, I guess. That's what it amounts to. All right, I'm gonna close for now. That's really all I got to say. And I'm working on a little something. Uh, I saw that Essence had come out with a tube and mascara, so I ordered it. And I'm gonna try that one, and then I'm gonna try it against, uh, of course, the Milani. And I'm not gonna try it against the Thrive, but I'm gonna try it against another one that is pricey that I've used before years ago and we'll see what it does. Cause honestly and truly, that one was the one that was my favorite, but it is pricey. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I don't wanna give it away. And I ordered me some, the silver door docker earrings or paper clip earrings to wear. Cause I wanted silver after I liked the gold ones. So hopefully these won't irritate my ears because the gold ones didn't. And that's all. You've seen this shirt before from Timu. You know, when I first got this shirt, I didn't think I liked it. But after I wore it, it's probably one of my favorite shirts I've got from them. I wish they would do one in other colors. And it seems like they did have a blue one at one time, but I can't find it now. So, but maybe they'll come out with more like this. I like the style. I like the fabric. It's not, it's a knit fabric. So it's not the other fabric that picks all the time. I'm gonna try to get away from ordering those types because it's obvious I'm too rough and I end up having to throw them away. And that's not good. So I'll talk to y'all later and I hope you have a great weekend. Love you. Bye.